I was about to head to the junkyard and it starts pouring out of nowhere. So I guess I'll just wait for a minute. I'm currently loading up the wagon. I have some oil containers to get drained, this one, and that one I have one more. I'm gonna take the old TDI wagon seats back to the junkyard and have a few spare batteries as well. Just gonna clean up the garage just a little bit. But after that, hopefully this rain chills out because I wanna pull the rest of the VR6 harness out of that Mark IV Jetta for the swap for, well, this car later on. So yeah, I need it to stop raining. We've got the wagon all loaded up and ready to go back to the junkyard. The rain is chilled out, thankfully, in some blue sky, so we should be good to go. And Supra. Those things are everywhere out here. Supras and R33s, like two cars that I want so bad, I see them two or three times a day, which is so awesome. All right, boys, we are heading to the oil discarding room and other such fluids. So we have oil 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 i think coolant wiper fluid and then like fuel over there so you stand on this thing right here that opens up you pour your old oil in and then you're done so this little fiat came in and it's dumping white smoke out the back jeez dude that's so bad this thing actually has a turbo on it little maybe like four cylinder t-jet tiny little turbo it actually sounds smoother now, but I think your uh, your turbo's blown or your feed line's way bad. It got it got towed in. It doesn't sound very happy, and it's uh it's dumping white smoke out. Look at this turbo. It's so tiny, and it actually has like factory uh, hard intercooler piping to that side, a front mount, and then to this side, which is kind of cool for a factory car. A little Fiat T Jet, the smallest turbo I've ever seen in my life. That thing is like. It's so small. It sounds smoother now though, but yeah, you're still, uh, you're dumping white smoke right into the wagon. My car's gonna smell fantastic after this. Gee, it's just puffing white smoke. Yeah, I think the turbo in this car is gone. Does it smell like pineapple vape? It smells awful, <laughs> <laughs> awful. So it's been raining for the past hour. I've got no work done today. Just been hanging out in the shop, just hoping that this was gonna go away but it is not going anywhere it's just gray super frustrating well on the bright side i did get another bottle of wheel cleaner so there's that so unfortunately we got nothing accomplished today but matt did give me this uh really cool skid plate he thinks will fit the bore wagon here so we might try it out later on it's kind of funny as soon as i leave the junkyard the weather clears up definitely not our best junkyard day but still got a skid plate and some wheel cleaner it could have been worse all right, since our first plan kind of went to crap, even though the weather is super nice now, but dunk cards closed. I want to try and fit the little brake air dams that come on the like 1.4, 1.6, and 1.8 Mark 3s over here. Since those cars, like the Savoy, have just uh, non-vented front rotors, they have a little brake air dam to push more um, air and cool the brakes. Whereas like my car has vented rotors to help cooling. But if you look over here, I'll show you underneath. The light's kind of bad. Sorry. Get a light down here. Ooh, side note so fancy okay so right there this thing right here is a little air duct that sucks air in to the um the solid rotors down there to help cool them well actually, as on my car i have vented rotors but i have a spare set of those little brake air dams and i want to try and see if those will actually bolt to my car because even more airflow to the brakes should help i think i have a spare set somewhere here yeah spare set so i'm gonna see if these will mount up to my car you can see that says l right there for left and one for the right side. I don't know if my G60 calipers will have the holes to actually screw this in, but if they do, it'd be cool to actually add these to my car to just have more cooling for the brakes. I'd say the only downside to running the Zobbers on Miley is that when they're on, I can't see my fancy brakes anymore, but it's all good. So now we have our little brake duct here, which should bolt up like that if there's the proper holes in the back side here for the screws to go in. And I'm hoping there are because look how cool it is. And then we have more airflow 
coming into the brake. All right, so if you join me down here, you can see this is where this would bolt up to, but you can see where the mounting holes back there are, and there's actually no holes in the caliper to put our hardware here actually in. So I was hoping that these being Euro spec calipers of a GTI would be different than my American spec ones and have the proper holes, but sadly they do not. So no air duct for us unless i made some sort of bracket to go in like this hole here which i'm not sure if i can even use that hole for anything at all but if i made a little bracket to then come down and screw this into i guess it would work that way but as an oem kind of thing it's a no-go you can see over here on the savoy where it actually has the bracket well not the bracket but the holes in the back of the caliper right there and there for those two bolts to go in and actually hold this on but unfortunately Mine does not have that. To give you guys a better look here, these are my American Spec 2.0 calipers here. And I'll show you the back side, which is the same as my GTI ones, which I was hoping those would be different since they are Euro Spec, but unfortunately they're not. So this is the back side there, the caliper. That's that one hole I was showing you. And where this would go would be about here. So I mean, I guess I could possibly use that hole there. But there's not one on the bottom and it might swing back and forth and i don't even know if you can screw i mean it is threaded actually that you can see in there that hole is threaded so i might be able to put one into there like this but then i don't know what well, kind of braces there so maybe it won't i still want it to go like this and like snap around let's try that out real quick and see all right so this actually does work and mount up the factory hardware threads right into that hole and it's actually mounted pretty secure on the top section here i wonder if i can make a bracket that goes underneath here from this one to this one that way i can thread in both points make it a little bit more secure i mean the top's nice and sturdy the bottom has a little bit of flex and where it would be sitting would be right about here there's not like a crazy amount of direct airflow but it would catch it from over here you can see through the vent where the air would go and then come in through here. So it would catch a little bit of air and bring it to the breaker itself. I thought about cutting like a square out of this to have direct airflow from this vent right into here. Um, I just don't know if there'd be too much force and actually like bend or snap this. So I can make a bracket to go underneath here and give a little bit more rigidity to this side. That would keep it from doing all this stuff. I mean, me pushing is a lot more force, but if I'm doing like 140, 150, there's gonna be a lot of force pushing this and I don't want it to go snapping and breaking. So I found a few of these little L brackets laying around. They're pretty sturdy. I went ahead and flattened this one out. The holes almost match up. I'm gonna have to drill a hole right about here to make it line up perfectly and then cut the end off. But that will mount up like this underneath of here. And then both the top and the bottom will have a place to screw into and make this a lot better. All right, so what I'm about to show you is very far from like high quality, but it is functional. And just keep in mind, my drill is very, very crappy. So I was trying to drill a hole out bigger, um, but my drill was just not having it. So I had to stop with this small little screw, but the bracket is down there that goes underneath the main one. And then this piece here screws into the bracket piece. And now it still moves a little bit, but it's way sturdier than before. Before this entire piece would flex, but now it's a lot better. So I do plan on trying to revise this if I can um, to draw that hole bigger and use the factory bolt to screw into the bracket. But for now, I mean, not the prettiest thing ever. So I just want to paint and paint this, but it does work. It is functional and it's way sturdier than before. I'm going to go ahead and pull off this and mount it to the G60 caliper and just make sure everything fits the exact same. And then we're going to head over to Tony's house for a while for a barbecue, which we're already late for. So Tony, for watching this, I apologize. I was uh, doing this stuff. That actually looks really cool. I mean, I know these cars already have vented rotors for cooling, but like to have an actual like air dam to suck more air into it is just cool. I was going to revise that bracket, but honestly, like it's super sturdy and feels really good. So I might just leave it as is. I still want to go through and trim paint this black so it looks better than that, but I think we're good. It's sturdy, should be functional. I like it. Got the Zauber back on the car just to make sure everything clears, which thankfully it does. You can see the uh, the air duct right here. So all the air coming out of the car like this should catch right here and go right into the uh, the brake area for some added cooling, which is really cool. We're gonna go ahead and put this on pause for right now and get everything cleaned up and put away. So we can head to Tony's house for a little while and then either tonight or tomorrow, we'll come back and finish up the other side and get everything all dialed in. made it to Tony's new house got a little garage cool spot the part in the front and then a whole little driveway section I also brought my project 
in case he has a drill so I can finish it much faster. Now we have food. Dan got the big old driveway. Marvin's here, the president, Jeremy's here. This garage is pretty cool. It's also kind of weird at the same time. Like you can see it like slants in on both sides. So you could fit two cars, it just gets more narrow towards the back side. But there's like windows here. There's like windows to the house on this side. Definitely a cooler spot. It also has an electric garage door, which you don't see these too often here. Usually you have to lift it by hand. Cool little spot though. I like it. I like the little windows like into the house from the garage. That's pretty cool. But you can see it gets way more narrow back here. So you could fit another car here, just it'd be a little tight. Marvin coming through always with the tools. So Marvin has a drill. So while they're grilling, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my little project here that I really have in my bag. I love this thing, so cool. All right, at this point, bracket one and bracket number two, I might have to file down the bottom side of this bolt so it doesn't hit the back of the caliper, but they're both done and will mount up to my GTI calipers, no problem, which is really cool. All right, so now that that is done, we can go enjoy the barbecue. And then later tonight, once I get back home, we'll paint those and put them on the car. Birthday to you. <laughs> All right, we are back home now. I wasn't away to finish these tomorrow, but we're doing cars and coffee in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these painted real quick and then we'll get them thrown on the car. These are all ready to go. And of course, using the trusty trim paint. And then I came across these, totally forgot I had them. These are FK Automotive uh, lower bumper ducts. They came off a golf bumper, so I don't know if they're gonna fit my Vento bumper, but we might try and see. You can see right there, FK Automotive, and it says left side. So these go down there and place those bottom ones like this. So some cars have ones that are um, fully blocked off mine. This one's fully open. And then this over here, you can see, is open here, and then this section is blocked off. So I might try and run these. These came off a uh, Euro Golf bumper a long, long time ago. So I don't know if they're actually fit my bumper, but I might try and swap those in. All right, these are just about dry and ready to go. I had the car up in the garage because all my lights in here and I had to put a piece of wood underneath my jack stand because if you try to jack up on this rock, it just sinks and it's no fun. But the car's up and if I move out of the garage, we'll go into the car, get this bolted into place and then this will be done. So I have both brake ducts installed on the Jetta and I wanted to see and compare between the Savoy because the, the Savoy has them in the factory spot with the two bolts to hold it through. So I wanted to see how much flex this one had. You can see here, which is right there. So I push on it, it moves a little bit, but you see it's bolted one and two, but a little bit of flex, nothing crazy. And then we come over here to the Jetta. The bracket I made actually holds it really, really well. So I'm very happy with how it came out. Let me have it under here real fast. Okay, as you can see, all mounted up and the bracket is back there. And you can see when I push on it, the uh, amount of flex it has. Almost the same, it's not quite as rigid at the very, very bottom down here, um, but through this midsection, it's very, very sturdy. So I think these will work just fine and give us some added uh, cool air into the brake area. So definitely a very nice little upgrade for mine today. Also speaking of upgrades for this car, we're gonna be doing the Fabus Manufacturing tubular front control arms on this car, along with the tubular front subframe, same as on the Savoy. Very, very cool products. Just continue to upgrade this car and make it better and better. And then speaking of Fabus Manufacturing, uh, one, we have a very cool shirt coming out very, very soon, which is awesome. And I think we're doing posters and air freshers, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but on top of that, if you order anything from Fabus Manufacturing that they personally make, you can use my discount code right on the screen, MK3Smith, to save 5% off your order. So again, shout out to Fabus Manufacturing, hooking up it on Miley, and also the Savoy, they're just super awesome people over there. We love them. That'll be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget, be thankful for everything. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.